right, so Virgo. You have listen. So Virgo, either you need to listen or someone needs to listen to you. This could be advice. Someone is trying to give you advice, Virgo. Or you're giving someone advice. You have listen, joy, and stability. Okay, someone could be 23 or 24. Or they are turning 24 this year. Or 25. 42. Okay. Hmm. I feel like something that you are listening to, Virgo, it's going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of stability. This could be... This could be music. I'm getting something about frequencies. Someone listens to like meditation music before they go to sleep. Or someone listens to like rain, rain sounds, water sounds, something about sounds. Okay. But I'm getting like like healing frequencies. Okay. Or be careful what you listen to, who you listen to. This could be yourself. I feel like Virgo, if you want to be happy, be happy. If you want to be sad, be sad. I'm not telling you to be sad, but I feel like whatever you tell your mind, whatever you tell yourself, you're going to believe it. So you're telling yourself to be happy. You're telling yourself to be joyful. You're telling yourself that you are stable. Okay. So yeah, someone is speaking positivity into their life. They're speaking positivity on themselves and the people around them. Yeah, you have share the love. Someone wants to share love with you, Virgo. Or you want to share your love with someone else. They want you to listen to them. They want you to listen to what they're saying. This person truly cares about you. They know that you've heard it all before. Whatever this is, what is share the love? Confront. Hmm. I feel like someone is telling you something. This could be constructive criticism. Or like someone is acknowledging something that you did wrong. So they're speaking up about it. Or this is you. I feel like someone is telling um, a family member or a friend or maybe themselves to hold themselves accountable for what they did or what they said. 
But this is just simply saying like, I love you or they're showing love to you by telling you this, giving you advice, telling you when you're wrong. Yeah, like they're not telling you this to hurt you. They're telling you this to help you. I feel like their delivery could be wrong or their delivery, their approach could be harsh, could be blunt, but they mean well. Okay. What is confront? Yeah, dreams coming true. Yeah, someone needs to go within and heal something about them or heal something, like heal some kind of trauma that they had from the past. This could be your childhood, childhood trauma. Someone is choosing to confront something that they were hiding, some kind of trauma. Something that happened to them when they were a child. All right, what are dreams coming true? That's a part of growth. That's a part of growing. And it's like someone is realizing as time goes on that the more they hold themselves accountable, the more they go within and look at things from a different perspective, looking at how their actions are affecting others. This is going to change their life. Someone could have a victim mindset. Or they make it seem as if someone is always doing some, something wrong to them. It's never them. They're never in the wrong. Or something like that. All right, you have seek, believe, and succeed. Okay. Yeah, Virgo, I feel like your dreams are coming true. You're successful because you tell yourself that you're successful. And you take steps to making sure that you are successful in whatever you do. So whatever you tell your mind, whatever you say to yourself, your mind is going to believe it. Your body is going to believe it. Someone could be going on a cruise. I'm hearing canoeing or. Looks like someone is on a boat. A yacht. Yeah, challenging times. Just breathe. And moving on. You're going to be faced with challenges. I mean, everyone is faced with challenges. But of course, I feel like you're going to make it through because you're, you're telling yourself that <clears throat> you're telling yourself that you're going to make it through. Okay. Okay. 
If you feel overwhelmed, Virgo, just take a break. If you can. Okay. I see you moving on. What is moving on? Okay. Helpless and hopeless. Someone is moving on from this kind of mindset. The number eight could be significant, Virgo. Eight, eight, eight. Or eight. Yeah, you're moving on from this mindset or someone is moving on from this helpless and hopeless mindset. They're becoming a leader. Yeah, because you have to be a role model. You can have children, you can have a child. And your child, your son or your daughter, they're looking at you like, okay, well, what are you going to do or... You can't have that mindset around a child or your children. I'm not saying that it's not it's not okay for you to be human or it's not okay for you to, you know, to feel like, I guess to feel down. But you have someone that's looking up to you or you have several people looking up to you. So someone is definitely a leader or a role model. And since they're looking up to you, you have to have the mindset of a leader or a boss. Okay. This could be you looking up to yourself. Win or lose. Yeah, reach out. Someone is going to decide to reach out to you. They want to see if you're going to respond back. I am picking up the Ace of Swords energy. It's like they're reaching out to you to give you information, to tell you something that you don't know or something that they feel like you don't know, some kind of information, some kind of truth. And it's like they're waiting to see how you're going to respond to whatever this is. I feel like too, Virgo, if you want to talk to someone, reach out. I don't know why I'm picking up on the suicide hotline um, or some kind of mental hotline or something like that. I'm not saying that you're suicidal or anything like that. But I feel like if you want to talk to someone... You have someone to talk to. Okay. This could be a counselor, psychiatrist, psychologist, therapist. Okay. Someone is also reaching out. Simply because they miss you, they love you, okay, heart chakra, they haven't spoke to you in a while, okay, coming together, opportunity beckons, they want to see you, they want to spend time with you, this could be another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, 
or someone with those placements in your um in their birth chart. Okay. It's like someone is waiting for the right time to reach out to you. All right, what is opportunity beckons? Teach. And control. Now, something else that I'm picking up on, uh, Virgo. Someone wants to reach out to you because they feel like you need to learn a lesson. They feel like you need to control yourself. Or this could be you, but I feel like you're not doing anything wrong. I feel like why does this person, why does this person feel the need to tell you that you should control yourself because you're successful? Okay, so they feel like you're not humble. They feel like you need to humble yourself. They feel like you need to, I'm picking up simmer down. They want you to simmer down or they want you to stop being a star. Could be an Aquarius, a uh, um, low vibrational Aqu um, Aquarius or um, something like that. But yeah, someone feels like you need to be under control or they need to tame you. Fetty Wap, the rapper Fetty Wap, you could see something about him on social media. I'm picking up um, 1738. <clears throat> Someone could be from New Jersey. Okay, you have feeling alone. And base chakra. I don't know who this person is, but like I said, they feel like you need to humble yourself or they feel like you need to simmer down. They feel like you need to be quiet. And I feel like you're not doing anything wrong. This person could be wrong by trying to control you, by trying to control your light. Yeah, master, hearing master puppet. Someone wants to control, they want to control how much love you have in your life, how much, um, how much love you're getting, how much love you're putting out. This could be the music industry. Someone could be in the music industry or they're a singer or a rapper. Or they're in the spotlight somehow. But someone does not, they don't want you to keep getting attention. They don't want you to keep being successful. What is control? Yeah, you have choose your battles in reverse. So someone has chosen their battle or their battles, but they're not choosing the right battles. I feel like they're choosing the wrong battles because trying to battle you is the wrong thing to do because you're not doing anything wrong. Yeah, they're jealous of the love that you're getting. They're also refusing to see something. They're refusing to see that you're rebuilding by yourself. 
or you've came a long way. So you have a right to celebrate your success. You have a right to be proud of yourself. Okay, Virgo. So that's all for this message. Okay.